When night falls on Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system reveals a spectacle that defies our understanding. With a diameter of over 140,000 kilometers, this gas giant dominates not just in size, but also in atmospheric power. While storms on Earth barely scratch the surface of our imagination, those on Jupiter are so intense that even the most destructive hurricanes here seem like mere gusts of wind. And thanks to probes like Juno, sent to uncover the secrets of this cosmic colossus, we now have access to breathtaking images and data showing incredible phenomena. Among the most stunning events recorded in Jupiter's atmosphere are the lights that shimmer in the dark, luminous manifestations dancing between the clouds, as if the planet itself were telling an electric, vibrant story. In this video, you'll discover how these lights form, what they mean, and why Jupiter keeps surprising us night after night. To begin, it's impossible to ignore Jupiter's sheer magnitude. It's not only the largest planet in our system, its mass alone exceeds the combined mass of all the other planets. But Jupiter's grandeur goes beyond its weight or volume. The real wonder lies in its atmosphere, a turbulent mix of gases spinning at incredible speeds, creating patterns and phenomena that still baffle scientists. Unlike Earth, Jupiter has no solid surface. It's made mostly of hydrogen and helium, the same elements found in stars, and this composition turns it into a kind of natural laboratory for extreme atmospheric physics. Thanks to its rapid rotation, a day there lasts just 10 hours, powerful atmospheric jets emerge, dividing the planet into colorful bands. These stripes, visible even through amateur telescopes here on Earth, result from clouds with different chemical compositions and temperatures, moving in opposite directions and forming the planet's iconic appearance. This dynamic creates turbulent zones and gigantic vortices that can last for weeks, decades, or even centuries. And if there's one symbol of this atmospheric ferocity, it's the Great Red Spot. This colossal storm, larger than the entire planet Earth, has been active for over 400 years and continues spinning counterclockwise with winds exceeding 400 kilometers per hour. Although more recent observations indicate that the spot is slowly shrinking, it remains one of the planet's most fascinating features. And it's not alone. Jupiter is full of storms. Some appear and vanish quickly, while others gather around the planet's poles in nearly perfect geometric patterns, like flowers of energy in constant rotation. These structures at Jupiter's poles, captured by the Juno spacecraft, consist of multiple cyclones arranged in almost symmetrical formations that defy logic and atmospheric physics as we know it. In some of these storms, winds can exceed 600 kilometers per hour, speeds that make even Earth's strongest hurricanes seem like child's play. To put it in perspective, the most intense hurricanes on Earth rarely go beyond 250 kilometers per hour. And even so, they cause devastating damage. Now imagine the power of a Jovian storm, Thanks to the sophisticated instruments on board these probes, we're not only able to observe the clouds from afar, but also analyze their chemical makeup, temperature, and movement over time. One of the most fascinating phenomena detected through this process is lightning, bright flashes cutting through Jupiter's sky amid thick clouds. These electrical discharges, similar to the ones we see here on Earth, show that electric storms also occur in this extreme environment. But, as with everything on Jupiter, these lightning bolts have unique characteristics. In December 2020, during one of its flybys, the Juno spacecraft recorded a luminous flash near the planet's North Pole. The image, captured from about 32,000 kilometers above the clouds, shows a vortex illuminated by an electrical discharge. It's like witnessing a storm on an alien world, where the laws of nature follow a completely different script. Unlike Earth, where lightning typically forms near the equator and is caused by clouds filled with water vapor, Jupiter's dynamics are entirely different. There, most of these electrical storms occur at higher latitudes, especially in the polar regions. Scientists believe that these discharges form in clouds made of a mix of ammonia and water, at higher altitudes and in extremely low temperatures. And it's precisely in the polar regions that these lightning bolts become more frequent, a behavior opposite to what we see here. This reveals that Jupiter's atmospheric processes are deeply different from ours, and there's still much to learn about how these mechanisms work. Another interesting factor is that since Jupiter doesn't have a solid surface, the lightning bolts don't have a ground to connect to. On Earth, many discharges happen between clouds and the ground, but on the gas giant, everything occurs between cloud layers. This means the plasma channels responsible for the lightning can be much longer, stretching for hundreds or even thousands of meters, 
The result is extremely powerful lightning bolts with origins that vary in depth depending on the density and composition of the clouds. Scientists classify these electrical discharges into two main types, the more superficial lightning and the so-called superbolts. The first type occurs about 18 kilometers below the cloud tops, while the superbolts form at depths ranging between 50 and 65 kilometers. In these denser layers, it's believed there is enough liquid water and the right conditions for collisions between ice crystals and droplets, which cause a separation of charges similar to what happens in Earth storms. The big difference, however, lies in the intensity. These superbolts can be up to 100,000 times more powerful than a regular lightning strike on our planet. They are explosions of electrical energy so intense that, if they happened here, they could cause large-scale damage. And all this takes place thousands of kilometers away, on a world where storms feed on colossal forces and spread through ever-shifting layers of gas. Even with all this power, the Juno spacecraft can't directly see the origin of each lightning strike. Instead, it uses a combination of sensors to collect data like the arrival time of light, signal intensity, and the type of wave generated. With this information, scientists can estimate the depth and energy of the electrical discharge, revealing more about the hidden processes deep within Jupiter's atmosphere. The most widely accepted model to explain the origin of these lightning bolts is the same one used for Earth's lightning, the separation of charges caused by particle collisions inside the clouds. But on Jupiter, this process is amplified by the planet's extreme conditions, like its ultra-fast rotation, intense magnetic fields, and enormous atmospheric pressure. It's as if each factor supercharges the electricity, creating lightning that defies everything we've ever observed. And to think that just a few decades ago, imagining lightning on another planet was pure science fiction. Today, thanks to technology and the dedication of scientists and engineers, we can not only imagine it, we can observe these phenomena in stunning detail. The images from Juno are a true window into the unknown, showing that even in the absolute darkness of Jupiter's night, lights dance between the clouds as if the planet itself were breathing electricity. These records aren't just beautiful, they're essential for helping us better understand the physical processes that govern gas giants and, possibly, even other worlds beyond our solar system. Every lightning strike captured, every cloud analyzed, every variation detected in Jupiter's atmosphere is a piece of a puzzle bringing us closer to understanding how the giants of the cosmos work. And Jupiter, with all its might and mystery, is the largest and most fascinating of them all. The Juno mission, still active in Jupiter's orbit, represents one of the greatest achievements of modern space exploration. Its elliptical orbits allow the spacecraft to get very close to the planet's atmosphere, offering high-resolution images and unprecedented scientific data. With each flyby, new revelations emerge. From the discovery of cyclones and geometric patterns to nighttime lightning bolts slicing through the sky like living pulsars inside clouds of ammonia and ice. It's a curious thought. While we look up at the sky searching for shooting stars or northern lights, there's a planet over 600 million kilometers away where colossal storms silently dance under deep darkness. And lightning stronger than anything ever seen on Earth briefly lights up the endless mass of clouds that never stop shifting. Jupiter is, without a doubt, one of the most spectacular celestial bodies we've ever observed. And as we continue exploring its secrets, we learn not only about the planet itself, but also about ourselves, about how physics works on scales we can barely imagine, and how human curiosity keeps pushing us further and further. So, did you enjoy this journey through Jupiter's clouds? If you're into this kind of content, don't forget to hit the like button down below. It really helps the channel keep bringing awesome videos like this one. And if you're not subscribed yet, take a moment to click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any discoveries from our universe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.